I had a feeling there was something and now, bad on the serial kidnapping and murder case that shook the town of Inaba. Mm -hmm. Defendant Taro Namatami has confessed to committing the multiple kidnappings that previously seemed irrelevant. However, he continues to flatly deny his involvement in the first two murders. Yep, that's Namatami the thing. Namatami also maintains his strange insistence that he, quote, placed them inside the TV to save them. With so much unknown regarding his motives and methods, many are hoping his trial will shed some light on these mysteries. Up next is our fog forecast for today. Fog is still covering the town, but it should soften somewhat this week with the coming of spring. Today and tomorrow, we'll see fairly light amounts of fog as usual. Saturation from then on is still to be determined. If you have travel plans, please be mindful of visibility conditions. Hi. It's almost time for your train. You ready to go? I guess. Too bad Nanako couldn't leave the hospital in time to say goodbye. A little more time and maybe she could have come outside. Feel free to come visit any time, okay? And say hi to your parents for me. There's nothing more I can do for this case. I might end up testifying in court, but otherwise I'll just be observing to see how things play out. That's a little out of character for you. I don't imagine he'll get that harsh of a sentence given the evidence, or lack thereof. Well, so it goes. Hey, mind if I ask you something? What's up? It's only been a year since you got here, but a lot's happened since then. What do you think about your time here? Are you satisfied with the things you did? The choices you made? What are you asking? I see. We can leave it at that. Excuse me? Well, we should get going. Your friends are probably waiting at the station. You're acting really weird. Come on. Hey. Thanks. For? You really are leaving us. Yeah. You know... It was overdue quick. Yeah, it was. It's going to get boring without you around, senpai. Mm-hmm. You will visit, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> we'll come immediately if anything happens on your end. Be sure to take good care of yourself. Take care. Keep in touch, okay? I'll reserve a room for you at the Amagi Inn the next time you come. Well, I'll see ya. You really helped us out with lots of stuff. Thanks, partner. I think the main problem here is that I'm very clearly missing a lot. Yeah, a whole five hours. Fuck off with that five hours. You know... Not only... Not only do I feel like the game is punishing me with something uh, very clearly wrong with Dojima, the f what happened to the fog, right? We never figured that out, and I know Persona would not have allowed that to happen. No, you know what this feels like?
Uh, no, you can't. And real quick, you know what this ending feels like? It feels like a faster and more harsh ending than what we got it than what I got in Resident Evil uh, with Ethan Winter. Like I feel like one choice, one specific choice was the one that got me the bad ending. Yeah, seven. Thank you. And I feel like here, that's also what happened. One choice in particular got me the bad ending. No, no. Here's what it feels like. It feels like I should get, should have gotten several choices and a, and a bar. Right? And that, it, you can make the bar invisible as well. And that bar is basically how much of my team believed me when I said we're missing something and how much more we could fight. Because if you noticed, after that second option, I didn't get a chance to actually make my case, right? I didn't get an op I didn't get like a dialogue tree trying to decipher what I explained was what I was trying to go for and that's how I died. You cannot say something that happens in this game unless it has already happened. All right, so now my sister can tell me which choice I got right. If my sister's still here. I don't think she is. Hold on, I will be right back while this happens. First of all, sit there. Now, before we start with you, yeah, guest starring my sister. Hello. Hello. Anyway, so real quick, is there an end scene to this Marvel style? <sighs> to these credits for the bad end. I was just watching like all three bad endings, whatever. I didn't see one. All three bad endings. I mean, granted, it's a JRPG. I can figure out that they, they're they going to make me get bad ending. Is this the first of the three bad endings? Second. So I already avoided one bad ending. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to explain that to me in a minute. The Persona Cinematic Universe! I don't know what's... Hold on. Hey. Is there... You said there's, like, an end scene at the end no, of this? No, I said I didn't see one when I was watching it. Okay. Well, I With want, credits. before we get into anything big, I just want to get through the- is there a way to speed this up? Um, no. I don't know the difference between the second and third bad ending. Uh, it's probably a minute difference. <laughs> yeah. Um, because I know the first one is very different, I believe. So, you said this was the second ending. Yes. How would I have gotten the first bad ending? Not hmm? Not oh, just not figuring out, not going after Namatame at no, all? No, um, pushing him into the Oh. So are you, so wait, how is this the second one then? I don't know how they fucking, like, number them. What's save clear data? 
What? I would go with no. Probably. Are you asking me to save my game after I fucked that up? Hell no. I can... Ooh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, okay. Also, <laughs> you can get out now, because I'm back here. Unless you want to give me all the answers. Hell yeah! Trying to escape, huh? Alright, we're gonna skip all the way back up to here. I failed, but it wasn't my fault. And the law. To hell with so, wait, the real quick, what did he I say? Forgive what you did! I failed to save her. It's because you got in my way. So the thing we're missing is his true feelings. Is that what I is that the correct answer? Perhaps. It is the correct answer, isn't it? I mean Phantom said it in chat. Phantom did say it, but th by the time I, I but by the time I saw it, I had already picked the other thing. Yeah, I was gonna say something in agreement with it, but we're afraid because he I don't know if he uh knows about it or not. <laughs> You know, at this point, I should just stop and listen to the chat when big decisions like this happen. I don't know. I'm just kind of guessing. Alright, let's push the bastard in! Let's get all three bad endings! <laughs> well, I was surprised the first two you got fucking right. I was like... What's the first two? Oh, well, I Wait a second. We don't yeah. have time to wait. We're missing something. Something we don't know. Oh, do it. Let me tell you what. I have this save, this slot saved. I will release. I will clip. Uh, I will record it later. Whether he'll kill again, we don't know his true feelings. We just heard the guy's true feelings on TV! What didn't you understand? Fuck. Okay, hold on! Where's the- Hold on. Wait, where the fuck is the answer saying, Okay, does that mean you are bored of everything and you're only here to cure your fucking boredom, you bitch? Where's the fat- Where's the option where I can turn around and tell him he's a fat fucking cunt? <laughs> Repent, motherfucker. Alright. So I can either say something is bothering me. You could. Which is obviously go too half assed of an answer. He can still repent. Yosuke's not gonna buy that. I actually don't know. That's even less than half assing it. That's like quarter assing it. <laughs> So we don't understand. So we don't understand why he himself is utterly terrified. Might I add? Mm -hmm. Really terrified. So you're saying I should think about this more, huh? Yes. Because if you get it wrong, you have to go through all of that again. Motherfucker! <laughs> Remember, if you get it wrong, you have to go through it again. Phantom saying something bothering me is good. <laughs> Which. You know what? I wasn't thinking about it that way. I just thought Yosuke would assume I'm half assing the answer. But now that I. what Yosuke wants, the fuck? Well, he's the one. He's the fucking decider, apparently, of what we actually do. Aren't you the just, leader? And if I'm the leader, how. Okay, if I'm the leader, how come we had to cheat and force the girls into a beauty badge? Alright, listen, that's just the game. How come, if they I'm the leader, how come we had to sneak into their room at night? Because they need to sexualize the teenage girls, because haha, uh, fan service. Why can't we just sexualize the teacher who should be fired? Easy fucking target. So, thinking about this again then, because there aren't actually two answers that seem half assing it. Which is, I actually don't know, and something's bothering me. Yosuke will absolutely 
ref Yosuke and Kanji will refuse the idea that this guy can repent. Is I'm pretty sure you'll know you're right if you get another prompt up. Yeah, probably. Man, That's I just wish I could could have saved before the five other cutscenes. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, what's the answer? You know you know what? I'm gonna listen to my boy Phantom. Well what is well, it? What is it? I already it? told you there's no time. Are you even getting at something He's here? He's saying it. Shut the fuck up. Alright, forgot. Oh my god! <laughs> Phantom, you genius! I could say we're missing something again, which is also still true. He could escape. He could escape via the TV. No, he can't. We've already established that only Teddy can leave through the TV. And as far as we were aware, we're the ones who dragged him out of the TV. I got nothing is obviously giving up. So we're missing something. Missing? Like what exactly? Damn it! I've heard enough of this bullshit. Give me a straight answer. Stop yelling at me. Are you doing this or not? That's all I give a damn about right now. Calm the hell down, you fucking asshole. He's right. Let's all calm down for a second. Are you done? Did I win? I'm perfectly calm. You're absolutely fucking not. Hey, what did you mean by we're missing something? What's there to miss with a sick bastard like him? Maybe the fact that you were away five fucking times already! I hate him. I hate him. Hey! Let's all take a deep breath. Listen, I'm just mad at Yosuke because this is like the third time in a row he has looked at something and said, This is it! After this, we're done! Yeah. And has not learned once. After what happened to Nanako-chan and seeing Dojima-san, <clears throat> we're not thinking straight right now. They're talking! Shut the- If you're just going to repeat everything, they're already voice acting. Get the fuck out of here. Fine. I don't get it. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Go. I don't need your commentary anymore. <clears throat> Alright. Everyone's finally regained their composure. You're right. We should calm down and think rationally about this. I realize now that we've heard almost nothing from Namatame's perspective. There's no denying that this man brought great harm to Nanako-chan. Mm -hmm. But other than that point, the rest comes from our assumptions based on watching the Midnight Channel a moment ago. I won't deny that we were blinded by the heat of the moment, trying to impute all responsibility to him rashly. But... Yeah, the guy's not saying anything. Whatever reason he had, there's no doubt about the fact that he'd been throwing people inside the TV. He thinks that he's saving them, so why don't we find out what he's saving them from? It was from? him who put Senpai through that misery. Or whatever he's trying to save your Senpai from. How can we possibly understand someone who says hey, killing up? people is the same as saving them? Well, we don't know if he even understands that. Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. Thank you, Naoto. Truthfully, not all the hitches that were nagging at me have been answered yet. We'll have to see what he can tell us about them. Oh, I just had some frames drop. Though it appears he's in no condition to do so at the moment. True. Dealing with him right now might not solve all the things that are bothering us. But you better remember this. I'll do everything I can to stop him from repeating what he's done. Unless he's not the one actually doing Anytime, anything. Time, anywhere, anything. Except get the right answer. 
Let's just think for now. Jeez. How the hell can you stay so calm, man? Because I have to sit here and not strangle you every other month. Then again, that's why you're our leader. Because I don't strangle you every other month? Because <sighs> he's Adrian motherfucking dimming. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. I'm gonna have to make that a D&D &D character one day. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. All right, I'm convinced. Thank you for convincing yourself. <sighs> Thank you. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. So you're not gonna be much help? We all know how you feel, Yosuke. <laughs> Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right, together. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry, and thanks. I know, why the fuck is everyone catering to Yosuke? Not only was I the one living with Nanako, I'm also the one actually most at fault for this, considering I'm stronger than at least three party members on their own. Like, combined, rather. Ooh. Ooh, we got that max, too, now. I think the only two party members who I am not on par with, on par or higher than, is Naoto, who can do almighty damage, and Yukiko, who's a healer. And I guess what you say, but fucker. I can create Loki! What level do I have to be to create Loki? Naoto is the best. The Fool is the entire investigation team, which should have been my first clue. Wait, what? The Personas of the Judgment Arcana. What? What? Establish the Seekers of Truth social link in the Judgment Arcana. What? Hey, you guys? What are you doing? You can't be in here. Oh, crap! We were keeping an eye on the suspect. The police officers outside seem to have their hands full helping Dojima-san. Thank you, Naoto. If Namatame were to escape, it would be a disaster for the police's reputation and their trust in you, Adachi-san. Oh, I see. We'll tighten security from now on, and I'll arrange for him to be transported out as soon as possible. So, if you guys can keep quiet about being in here, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> How is he, Doctor? He seemed to be extremely agitated a moment ago. What do you mean, a moment ago? He's still freaking the fuck out in that Jacob's Ladder style. He seems fine for now, but he really needs his rest. Does he? Does he seem fine? Outside, everyone. Doctor's orders. Roger, Roger. Understood. We should go, too. Let's get back to Nanako-chan's room. So what's this thing we're missing, huh? Yeah. To tell the truth, there's something that's bothering me too. Why did he start killing people in the first place? Right, what's the motivation? Well, he said himself it was to save them, right? What's he saving them from? So he killed his lover in order to save her and kept going? Mm. The police speculated the first murder was related to the affair, so they called in Namatame for questioning. 
Yeah. But everything in his testimony and his bearing, no matter what they looked at, they found nothing suspicious. If he truly is twisted enough to believe that murder is a means of saving people, I think that would have shown through. Maybe he faked it real well. Or maybe he started out with a normal motive and got a taste for killing after the first time. Is that why you help us with the shadows? No, if that were the case, his motive for killing that announcer would be even more inexplicable. Namatame and his wife were separated at the time. Both Misuzu Hiragi and himself testified that she had discarded him. Hiragi also knew about Yamano beforehand, and Namatame was shocked to hear of Yamano's death. Their relationship was known and was not strained to the point of murder. There's simply no motive in the affair angle. I'll be honest, there should always be a shut the fuck up button in any game. The police invested a great deal of effort into investigating this point. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we have no convincing motive for Namatame to kill Mayumi Yamano. Although, her name was written in Namatame's own diary. Mm -hmm. His reason for killing her. It's still possible that he was crazy to begin with and no one realized, right? See, that, well, I, I don't know why, because this is the same thing Yosuke said, except it's presented as a plausible theory, and uh, I don't hate her for it. I don't really get any of this. It's okay, Kanji. Oh, this is so confusing! No wonder you all are fools. What do you hey, want? Hey, we could hear you in there. This is a hospital. Maybe you should quiet down a little. Oh, there you are, all of you. Yeah, what up? Please come with me immediately. Roger, roger. <gasps> what are you waiting for? Hurry, go! Teddy? Where am I? Is this Teddy's world? Is that anything like Elmo's world? This doesn't quite feel like it, though. I remember being at the hospital. That's right, Nana-chan. I... I couldn't do anything. Why do I even exist? I couldn't keep my promise. I lost my reason to be there. <laughs> That's it. I remember now. So, it was true. Huh? Guys, Sensei, what should I do? Oh, there they are. Nanako-chan came around. Huh? What did you just say? Nanako-chan's alive? Are you serious? It's very rare to be resuscitated after one's heart and lungs fail, but it does happen. But until I know why she collapsed in the first place, I can't say for sure how well she'll recover from here on. Still, Nanako-chan's a fighter, and she's trying desperately to stay alive. It's because she's a fighter. So, so this isn't a joke? You're actually telling the truth? This would be a fucking case for malpractice if this was a joke. Holy shit. Nanako-chan. <laughs> <coughs> like, oh holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing! Miracles do happen. I'm so glad. I... I didn't know what I was gonna do! <laughs> no, 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 she's doing cheese tactics, man. She's crouched in a corner doing low kicks. 
and uppercuts. <laughs> You all should go home for the night. I'll speak with Dojima-san tomorrow about Nanako-chan's treatment. It's rather chilly outside. If it starts snowing, be careful not to catch a cold. Wait a second, where's Teddy? I noticed he didn't come with us when we went to Namatame's room. <laughs> You're right. That's weird. I figured he wouldn't move from Nanako-chan's side. Teddy, where did you go? Oh yeah, he has a cell with him. Wait, I shouldn't use mine inside the hospital. I'll try calling him up once we're outside. Oh, Teddy didn't leave a note this time. Huh. Couldn't save. I couldn't save. Why? Mayumi. And that girl too. I couldn't save them. Huh? Uh, what's the matter? Feeling guilty all of a sudden? Sheesh. 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 I can't reach him. Did that stupid bear forget to charge the battery? Maybe. We took a quick look around the hospital, but there's no sign of him. Mm. I wonder where he went. Mm hmm. Snow. Oh, it's snow. Hey, you're right. Wow, it's been a while since I last saw real snow. It doesn't look that pretty, though, because of this fog. Yeah. I guess this makes it the first snow of the year. <sighs> it's freezing. Let's go home. Well, considering your half your body isn't covered. Hey, Yosuke, if you find Teddy, don't forget to contact us, all right? I know, I know. Let's meet up at the special headquarters tomorrow. What do you want? Man, that Ted. I hope he just went back home by himself. He's probably fine, but I'll hurry home just in case. Well, see you tomorrow. See ya. Cell phone has been off the entire time since you were at the hospital. Tsunami, I heard someone from your ho family was in the hospital. I'm sorry, I don't know what to write. No, I'm okay. When you're going through tough times, please remember that I'll be by your side if you ask. Case is still marred and I'm um, Continue forth. Aww. Get that last time. Well, last, well, here's the problem. I don't have. I think Ayani is the only. It is my only friend outside of Dojima. Who is ranked 10? That isn't part of the investigation team. Or uh, the Velvet Room. Mainly because there's no incentive to do those first.
good rest. Yo, what up? Welcome. Hey, buddy. It's been quite some time. I've been he in here like last week. I've been summoned at least. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. Okay. I have summoned you within your dreams. Uh huh. Now then, your journey has taken you quite a distance thus far. Mm -hmm. Do you believe you'll be able to successfully solve this mystery? No. I can solve it. Splendid. The precise destination of this vehicle. Ah, that too is getting rather hard to judge. Mm. If we continue driving blindly, we may end up leading you further away from the mystery that you must reach. Mm. Well, why don't we take a moment to look back on your journey? Okay. It was for that purpose that I summoned you here tonight. Oh, fun. Margaret? Need to use the bathroom. I think I need to start being more selfish. Uh huh. We are experiencing the words engraved into your memory during your journey. Oh, is this when all the social links come? Fuck. Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. All right, let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right, together. This all just happened. And it seems you have comrades with you as well. Those heading in the same direction through this dense fog. Yeah. We're stopping. We'll be parked for the moment while I confirm our current heading. As I mentioned previously, this year will signal a great change in your life. Mm -hmm. Though there isn't much time left, it can be worth your while to take the time to stop and reflect. Okay. People are like water flowing in a river. There is only one stream, but all who pass through it are affected differently. I feel like she's breaking the fourth wall here, guys. Some travel fast. Some change their course, experiencing countless events as they travel down the river of time. Mm-hmm. Just so. The state of this room reflects the scenery of your heart. Perhaps this may be a time for contemplation rather than action. Is it raining outside? Doorbell, huh? What? Oh, hey. Teddy's missing. I looked all over the neighborhood, but I couldn't find him anywhere. I'm worried. Yeah, me too. He was acting all weird lately. Uh-huh. Risa and the others are checking inside the TV to see if he's gone back to the other side. We're meeting pretty soon, so will you come with me to... Yeah, sure. It's no use, man. We can't find him. Mm. No luck for me either. I didn't sense anything over there. The fog's so dense, it might be affecting my readings. I wish I could do better. I'm sorry. Mm. Uh, Ted. Don't tell me he really went back to his world this time. We told him over and over that he could stay here. Let's think about this. I guess that's all we can do right now. He plays dumb a lot, but he's attached to us deep down. 
He wouldn't disappear without saying anything, right? Not on purpose. I'm worried for Teddy myself, but let's trust in him and await his return. Right now, we must concentrate on the case. It won't be long before Namatame is transferred to another location. We mm -hmm. must hurry, or we will miss our only chance to get his perspective on this. You know, I've been thinking about the case since, but something just doesn't seem right. Yeah. Let's quickly review the facts. Of mm -hmm. all the victims, only two were killed. Miss Yamano, the announcer, and Saki-san. Yes. From the documents we found in the car, we know Namatame had some sort of dealings with them. Mm -hmm. After that, there were multiple attempted murders in which we were targeted. Most of us. The only two people who weren't targeted is Yosuke and I. It was only when he took Nanako-chan that we caught him in the act, identifying his modus operandi in the process. Mm-hmm. When I hear you put it like that, sounds like the dude's guilty. Minus the fact that we also received a threat just before Nanako was taken. As a result of Namatame's arrest, the police admitted that Mitsuo Kubo was a mere copycat killer. Mm-hmm. Back up to yesterday. Remember when you said Namatame didn't have a motive to kill the announcer? That's yeah. what's bothering me. Right. Either he's completely nuts, or we're misunderstanding something. You lost me. She's trying to say that if Namatame is sane, then there may be facts in the case we don't know about yet. Yeah. Sane or insane? Sounds like a play I saw before. When he talks about saving people, what does that actually mean? I'm so glad somebody actually brought that up. I don't think there's any doubt that it includes kidnapping people and throwing them into the TV. Could he mean saving them through death? I mean, that's the assumption we've been working on. What are the other possibilities? He did call himself a savior, and said that the other side is a wonderful world. So they'll be saved if they die? What a bunch of crap! The bastard should have gone and saved himself! What do you think, senpai? There's something else. If you think about it normally, it's gotta be him. <laughs> but there ain't nothing normal about that world anyways. What is he saving them from? There's something I've been wondering about for a while. Yes. When we first encountered him, he said, You're the ones I saved. Don't worry, I'll save this girl too. Mm-hmm. So, um, if he saves people by killing them, did he save us too? Wouldn't he actually have failed to save us? You know, that's a good point. You raise a good point. If he thinks that salvation comes only through death, his words to us make no sense. And another thing, the Namatame who appeared on the Midnight Channel said he failed to save Nanako-chan. Well, maybe he really was trying to save the victims by putting them inside the TV. C come on, don't get all quiet like that. You guys know I just say the first dumb thing that pops into my head. <laughs> the possibility that he truly intended to save us. But he's still the one who threw in Saki-senpai in that announcer, right? We don't know because we weren't investigating at that sure, time. Sure, we haven't nailed down his motives, but that doesn't change the fact that he killed them. It does, though. Or what? You think someone else was involved? What makes you think so? Oh, I feel like I can fuck this up. So I'm going to think on this, and I will be right back. What was the question? The possibility of a culprit besides on autonomy. The copycat murderer doesn't prove that there's a culprit. I mean, it does. The alibi is a strong evidence. But yeah, I am leading warning letter because Namatame didn't say anything about the warning letter. In fact, he didn't pay me any mind at all. Warning letter? Oh yeah. Whatever happened to that thing? Right? If Namatame's the killer, he must have been the one who wrote it, right? Except he didn't say anything about it. Let's review them. Yeah. You call what don't rescue anymore. Second one said if you don't stop this time, someone close to you will be put in and killed. 
Yes, that's right. Isn't that kind of odd? Would someone who thinks he's saving people by killing them write stuff like don't rescue or kill? Yeah, and the will be put in and killed part doesn't make sense either. If the killer was writing it, wouldn't it be more like I'll put in and kill? Hey, could this mean? Namatami didn't write it. Yeah, it's almost like someone else wrote this letter. But only the killer would write such a letter and deliver it to Dojima-san's house, right? If someone else wrote it, that could only mean... Dear God, since this is such an unusual case, I was absolutely convinced that other than the Kubo incident, there was one culprit. Yeah. So Namatame really was trying to save his victims? Mm-hmm. Everything is exactly the opposite of what it first seemed. In Namatame's parlance, failing would have been the first two cases when the victims died. If he had used his method twice and failed both times, he would hardly have continued using the TV. And yet he did. It all seems to suggest that someone else wrote this warning letter while observing the entire case. Mm hmm Someone else? Then it wasn't Namatame that killed Saki-senpai and the announcer? Oh, look at that! Yosuke, you're wrong again! We can't say for certain yet. We urgently need to speak with Namatame face to face. Oh, nice. At least that leveled up quickly. How, though? After what happened yesterday, they said they're gonna tighten security. I have a plan. Yes. But there's no time to waste. Let's hurry to the hospital. Aces, let's do it. Well, no, Yosuke was wrong that it was Namatame. Just like how he was wrong that it was Kubo. Thank you for your time. If you enjoyed yourself, please like and subscribe.